Hey guys, it's Brian. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing and giving you some really great sound clips of these Chromework HP Plus slip-on exhaust. Uh, my buddy Fly and Ride has these on his Harley-Davidson CVO. I love the sound of them. I fell in love with it. I reached out to Chromeworks to talk to them about doing this review for you guys. And in full disclosure, they sent me this exhaust free of charge to do this review for you. So these are the HP Plus Chromeworks in the satin, I guess this would be a satin black. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do with these is put on a satin black pipe. So then I could then put black headers on the bike to do a full stage one. And I wanted to have that black against chrome look for that contrast. So this is gonna be a little bit different. This part was actually shot before I did the install. So I have put about 200 miles on these pipes already. I've had them for about a week and a half and I've been really impressed with them. So those of you guys that don't follow my channel, I had Reinhardt four inch pipes on the bike originally. They were good. Um, they had some grout on them, but they didn't quite have the look and the sound that I wanted. I tried tab performance with the zombie baffles, the four and a half inch tab performance with the zombie baffles. And I know my experience has been different than others, but I really wasn't impressed with the quality. And one of the things that I really didn't like with the pipes is they lost their high, they lost the grunt as you accelerated. It sounded like it went more tinny. It lost the deep bass that you get from like a Reinhardt or other pipes. And the Chromeworks really deliver that low end grunt all the way through the RPM range that I really like. And again, that's preference. Um, one of the things that I also really like on these pipes is this is more of a satin finish. And then you have this gloss finish on the end with the Chromeworks logo. You have the silver, um, silver tips there. So you have that contrast against the black. And I really like the way that it tied into the chrome and black look that I'm going for the bike. Um, I can say at, at speed, at highway speed, you can still hear these, which is nice. They're not, they don't leave your ears ringing. And I found that when you get on the bike hard and you'll see in the video examples that I'm gonna post, you get that really loud grunt sound that you feel and not only hear. And that's something that I really like in the pipes. I really like that low end rumble. So we're gonna go ahead and get these installed and uh, we're gonna talk about it. So now we have the pipes on the bike Really simple, you've got two screws in the back on the hanger. You've got one clamp here that you're going to take off and adjust. Now, they recommend that you replace that. I didn't realize that when I asked when they had sent the pipes to me. So I'm going to replace those with the Chromeworks clamps. The reviews that I've read, those clamps are a lot more heavy duty than standard automobile or automotive clamps. So I'm going to replace them with that. And like I said, this was shot kind of out of sequence, but these are the best pipes that I've had on the bike by far. They're much better than the Reinhardt's. They blow the tab uh, with the zombie baffles away as far as just their grunt and their all out just nastiness when you get on it. And it continues that range. It continues that loud uh, bass note all the way up into the RPM range. So that's what I really like about these. They have, not only do they have grunt, but it's a consistent grunt and it's that low rumble that you feel. Really been impressed with these pipes. Can't say enough about them. Huge thanks to Chromeworks for sending them. So before I end this video and go into the sound clips and go into the drive-bys, I hope if you've enjoyed this video, you'll consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these pipes. Um, if that sound is your preference, what you think about them on my twin cam. So just so you know, we're going to do a cold start with a rev. We're gonna do uh, some drive-bys, whether coming or going away from the camera, and then we're gonna do some decels. I'm also gonna put that sound clip of the cold start and the um, acceleration and deceleration as a link in an audio-only version in the comments section. So if you wanna download it and listen to it on your home stereo or listen to it on your phone, you can get a chance to listen to it in the best environment you can to get a real true sound of how these were shot. If you're an audio guy, just know that we shot this with a professional um, Rode shotgun microphone. The audio has not been adjusted, so you're going to really hear what these sound like in true life. So that's it, guys. I'm Brian. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to also put a link to the install video that Chromeworks put up so you can see the way they, perf they do it. Those guys are obviously a lot better than I am, so I think that that's a good reference point for you. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have found it helpful, make sure you smash that like button. 
Thank you guys for watching and please remember, you're not alone. Thanks guys. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make 